All right, the next question on our uh, frequently asked questions for spark plug thread repair uh, is regarding the valves being uh, open or closed. And I'm, I'm reading this. Um, question was, um, why is it important to make sure that the valves are closed when doing a spark plug thread repair? And, um, you know, the answer, there, there's a couple of different reasons. So the first answer is, if the valves are, are sticking down into the cylinder a little bit and you go in with your tooling you can actually hit the valves and bend the valves so you definitely want to make sure that the valves are closed for that reason alone um, the, the next reason that you'd want the valves closed and this is the one that we hear about most often is um, when you're drilling and tapping uh, some metal debris can get down into the cylinder if the valves are open then you have a chance of the debris getting past the valves into the rest of the engine and you get metal into the engine then you can cause rapid wear and uh, ruin the engine uh, even if it's aluminum that's not a good thing you know you don't want that in there um, so you make sure the valves are closed and um, you won't bend the valves or damage them with the tooling and then once you get to the point where it's time to get the debris out of there by using a vacuum or the blower or anything like that then you know you're not going to be blowing the debris past the valves into the rest of the engine okay the next question that we have on our frequently asked questions for spark plug thread repair uh, is regarding if the valves are closed or open or not uh, how do you determine so the question I'm reading is um, how do you check to see if the valves are open or closed before doing a spark plug thread repair and uh, we already talked about the importance of uh, making sure that the valves are closed before you're doing the uh, spark plug thread repair. Um, but one method of determining that the valves are closed uh, is to have a second person. And uh, what you do is have your thumb over the spark plug hole while someone else turns the engine over manually with a ratchet and a socket using the front crank bolt. And um, once the piston is coming up on the compression stroke, you'll feel pressure with your thumb. And uh, once once that that is at the end of that cycle, and the you feel like a little suction, you continue turning just a little bit more, and the valves will be closed, and the piston should drop and be out of the way. Um, now that's a two-person job, and obviously it's pretty hard to stick your thumb on the spark plug hole if it's down four to six inches in a spark plug well. So there, there's another method you can uh, remove the valve cover and look at the uh, the valves and make sure that they're not being held open any. Um, that's a, another step removing the valve cover that's another job in itself. Um, so the method that I like is using the uh, 38900-4000 leak tester uh, that's usually included in a uh, Calvan 38900 kit, but we do sell those for uh, you know separately as well. So we have people buy those, even though they buy a time cert kit, they might buy the 389-4000 to help determine that the uh, the valves are closed. Um, won't go into a lot of detail on that, but uh, that's a simple way of using um, using that to make sure that the valves are closed. Um, so you can see the video on that. We talk more about that in another another spot.